The Top Gun Expansion Pack was a welcome addition to Microsoft Flight Simulator and great fun landing on the carrier. But there was a problem. You could only gain access to the aircraft carrier in the challenge. Well, I'm here today to tell you that's no longer the case. Thanks to some innovative manipulation of the SDK and available now as freeware on flightsim.to, Link in the notes below, Modder J. Schreit brings us the full working aircraft carrier, which is moving. Includes the LSO or landing signal officer, arresting cables, catapult, and even an experimental start from the carrier is available. And you get a choice of seven different starting locations scattered on the east and west coast of the states. PC version only at this stage. Now you can land any aircraft you want in any weather or time of day. All the aircraft carriers are moving, and not all in the same direction. So we've now got a high quality detailed aircraft carrier. It's free, and it includes the escorts. A shout out and thanks to Jay Schreik. It never ceases to amaze me what these users and modders can do with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Incredible commitment and bucket loads of freeware for us users. Welcome back to the Sim Hangar. My name's Mark. Thanks for watching and let's get started. The download includes all the details you need as well as all the locations, which includes the Florida Keys, Gulf of California, Gulf of Mexico, Long Island, Oregon, San Francisco, and one South Carolina. To find them on the world map, you have to look for them as a point of interest. From using this add-on for a short period of time, it appears whether or not you got POIs on. The carriers do display a label until you get fairly close to them, and then it disappears. The aircraft carrier is available as a freeware download from flightsim.to, and as mentioned before, link in the notes below. Once on the site, it's worthwhile a quick read of the notes. It outlines what functionality is available, as well as a number of key binds that it recommends you make. And of course you do have to have the free Top Gun Maverick expansion pack loaded for this to work. Install is straightforward, it's a zip file and the subsequent directory is copied into your community folder. If you want to check if it's fully installed, well you go to Profile, then Content Manager. It displays as World Carriers by JShrike. Once you've downloaded and installed, well it's time to have some fun. Pick your location in your aircraft and your weather and time for a carrier landing. I've chosen one of my favorite aircraft, Flying 9 Spitfire Mark 9, with no tail hook, so this should be a challenge. Gear down, I need to come in low, almost stall onto the runway. LSO clearly not happy with me. I'm down, need to steer to the right, just give myself a little bit extra to come to a stop. If you're wondering by the way, no, not my first attempt. All the others, well they ended in tears. I was recently criticised, and quite rightly, for not flying gliders. So here I am in my first glider. It's a 1930 glider, the SG-38. It's a handful, and it's from a company I'm not familiar with, Coxpur. But it's great fun, link in the notes below. It's payware, just under 3 euros. Bargain. My first couple of attempts ended up in the drink, so I've started a bit higher this time, and having to side slip my way in. The fact anybody actually flew this thing is quite amazing. Clearly no sense of self-preservation. Come on, get down. Clear the decks, clear the decks, I'm coming in. Great for a bit of fun. Top Gun Maverick carrier now freely available. Go get it. Thanks very much for joining me today. I hope you found this interesting and entertaining. 
I'll see you all again very soon. Stay well and bye for now.